Hello everyone, welcome again to Bishop Corner. This is Bishop Nathan S. Cotty Jr. from New Life Fellowship Church. We will be coming to you on a regular basis with this program. We want you to invite people to join you because this uh, life-saving and spiritual information we're giving, we don't want you to be selfish on it, share it. The Word of God says we should share. This is one of the things that we need to do. Go you into the world and preach the gospel, teaching all nations. And God has given us this generation. God has given us the power to share the Word of God. So don't be selfish with Bishop Corner. Tell somebody, Bishop Corner is on. Or, guess what, share it on your Facebook page. Again, welcome back. I'm Bishop Nathan Corto. I want to speak to you on this subject our spiritual mirroring. And what that means is that how we look and how we see ourselves, spiritually, mentally, socially. It is important for us to know who we are as Christians. So basically, mirroring is that look at yourself is that you are to look into the mirror. What do you see? All right? And the same thing we do both spiritually and mentally. I'm going to read the scriptures here from the book of uh, 1 Peter chapter number 2. And I'm reading verse 5 and then I will go straight to verse now because I want to make a connection here. He said, Ye also as lively stones are built up spiritual house and holy priesthood. I want you to remember that word. A holy priesthood to offer a, sacri a spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Listen to verse 9. He said, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth his praises of him who have called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. I like the demonstrator pronoun. This marvelous light. The light you live, you live in now is marvelous. Amen? The light you are living now is a marvelous light. And you did not bring yourself here. God brought you here. God make you who you are. When you look into the mirror, know that God is the one that makes you this way. When you think about yourself, the reason that I'm bringing this up to us as Christians, as a mental health pro provider, uh, you, you heard a promo that I'm a mental health provider in the state of Texas, licensed professional counselor. I love that. Above all, I love preaching. Because listen to me, there is something we call integrated psychology uh, to spiritual. What we are telling you here is line up with what the Bible is teaching us. Men of all, the greater defeat we are having is how we view ourselves. We do not give ourselves enough credit. We do not celebrate ourselves. We do not celebrate success. There is a difference between you be proud, thinking that you did it, and you thinking that, God, I'm thankful that you were able to call me out of darkness and you have chosen me. I love the way you say you are chosen us. He has brought us to this marvelous life. Every life you live day to day are marvelous. If uh, you are on, mighty God, if you are under my, if you are under my anointing right now, I think you should say amen. So because I want you to understand that you are particular, you are peculiar people. In other words, you are a peculiar person. And you didn't bring yourself to this. Most of the time when I'm doing section, I want my client to see what they accomplish. Sometimes you are 24 years old, 20 years old, you graduated from high school, you, are, you have a job, you, not only that you graduated from high school, you went to uh, college, you get a degree, and then they say, I, I don't do anything, I have not done anything in my life. Defeating yourself. Is that what God wants you to look at yourself? Or God look at, looking at you and valuing you as a particular person? So I'm here to tell you, Christian, let's stop defeating our, ourselves. This is not about the degree that you have. But if we can 
if we can encourage people to really value themselves in the social setting, in the mental health setting, how about us as a church? That Jesus Christ loved us so much that he gave his own life for us, that he shared his blood for us, and we can discount all his effort. Don't get me preaching. I try to keep me just to encourage you, but you're getting me, I'm, I'm about to preach. Whenever you devalue yourself, think about the blood of Jesus that he shared for you, that you are that important. Amen? That God loves you so much. Let me read this again. I love this. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who call you in, out of darkness into this. Listen to this now. Everything that God did for us, it is for all to show his glory. Let me ask you a rhetorical question if you can answer it. If you are defeating yourself, if you are looking down on yourself, if you think there's nothing good about yourself, how are you showing the praises to the God that called you into this marvelous life. Tell me. Hallelujah. How are you showing the praises to the mighty God? Because that's the reason he brought us here. That we should show his glory. When somebody see me out there. When the unbelievers see me out there. They should see the glory of the Lord upon my life. Regardless of what I'm going through. Regardless of the struggle. Let them know I'm grateful to God. Let them know that I am who God say I am. And they envy that lifestyle. They say, I want the God that Bishop Country is serving. We are not showing the glory of God and we defeat ourselves. Some of all, when we testify to people, we are Christian. And the eyes are, sure? You sure? If you didn't tell me, I would know. Because you're not showing, you're not letting the light shine. Some of us, if we don't broadcast it that we are Christian, our neighbor will not know because of the lifestyle we live in. Again, I'm talking about your spiritual memory, what you see in your spiritual life, what you see producing, what you see God doing through your life. Hallelujah. Instead of defeating yourself. I have what they call positive psychology. Most of the time, what I do, I will send a sheet to my, uh, my client. I say, tell me 10, 15 different things that you like about yourself. But if they can't do it, then I send them the link. I say, choose a, a, a month this link. Which one I connect with you? Out of 10 uh, uh, characteristics, positive things, the person that's saying that they don't see any good thing about their self, sometimes they can check out of the uh, uh, other than 30, so now they care about 25. Why you didn't do this early? Why you don't know about this yourself? So I have come, when I read this scripture, that God has called us out of darkness. Let me, let me go far up with this. Some of us are defeating ourselves because of things we did before. Amen. You think God don't know that you did that? And he said, die for your sin? In fact, if I can connect you to the book of Romans chapter 5, did he not say, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us? I want you to enjoy your freedom in God as a Christian. You are the royal proof. Don't let anybody, listen to this, don't let anybody talk down on you and you buy into it. Worst of all, don't talk down on yourself, then we bow into it. Amen? Because sometimes you're selling it to us, and then sometimes we're selling it to you. There are people that are telling you that you don't want it. There are people that are telling you, and you buy into it. And then you're telling other people that you don't want anything, and then they buy into it. And they, come on now, somebody, help me preach. And then they treat you the way you want them to treat you. Because you set yourself so low. Hallelujah. I was graduating from my, my, my school. And my supervisor, I will never forget it. He said, Nathan, I supervise you. You are a very good counselor. 
He said, don't settle for less. Hallelujah. Don't settle for less. He said, I supervise you and I know you are a good counselor. Don't settle for less. Amen. I think Jesus Christ telling all that. I die for you. I wash your sin away. Don't settle for less. Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy sell anything less to you. Show the praises of him that have brought us to this marvelous life. And the way we show our praises of him is to represent him. He's a king of kings. And you are the child of the king. Hallelujah. I'm about to throw something in here again. You can only hear this on Bishop Corner. Hallelujah. 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 The king, the queen, the princess in England, their children don't walk on the street just like any other ordinary people. They walk as a child of the king and the prince. Princess, guess what? Walk like God is your king. Not only like he, don't, I use the word like, walk knowing that God is your king. Walk as a, as a child of the king. God has called us in there. Listen to this now. He know. Listen, when you read our scripture, the, before you get to verse 5, all the way to verse 9, you're talking about the, the author talk about all the things that the, the children of Israel had done, all the things they had committed. But listen to this. When he got to verse 9, he said, but. But. What that means is that everything eh, that was bad about you, every defeated spirit, that will but cancel the rest of it. He said, now, going forward. Somebody say, going forward, if you are under my voice. Going forward, I am the king. I am the child of the king. I am the child of the king. I'm a royal pre rule. Believe me not. Believe me not. Believe me not. It's on you. You don't believe me. You're not believing me, but I'm telling you that you're not believing about yourself. You are not elevating yourself. You are not elevating yourself. Look into the mirror, your spiritual mirror, and tell yourself, tell the enemy that I am the child of the living God. I am called into the marvelous life, and I'm here to show the praises of him. I will read it, and I'm done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said that we should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Walk in the light that God has showed us. Walk in the light. I'm so thankful that you turn into the spiritual mirroring. Look into the spiritual mirror and see yourself as a child of God. Look into the mirror and see you and Jesus Christ standing side by side Look into the spiritual mirror and know who you are. I'm telling you this in closing. Majority of mental health issues we encounter is the way we think about ourselves. Believe me, I'm a professional in the field. Most mental health issues we're having is the way we're thinking about ourselves. Celebrate your achievement. Don't be don't hesitate to tell somebody I'm so glad. I may not have arrived 100%, but I have done some things. Amen. Be appreciated to your family. Be appreciated to friends around you. Don't defeat yourself. May God continue to bless you.